Hi, welcome everyone. Chibi Chats here, and I'm Oroshi, and this is... Pinkarumi. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, we're still playing Long Live the Queen from the next, the, from the last episode. We're going to jump straight back in, and we're going to talk about a little Q&A and some anime from not the current season. So, uh, one of the things uh, that has come up is, you know, people wanting to, as we have started our channel, people asking us... Um, just a few questions, and we thought we'd pretty a pretty good idea to kind of get that uh, uh, moving okay. along and have you get to know us a little bit better. Cool. Cool. So, yeah, the first question. Well, what was your first anime? Mm. Sorry. Oh God. Oh I'm God. <laughs> You're in Falcon Hell right now. Yeah. Uh, well, at least you've learned some music. Um, the Glockenspiel. What an interesting art. Uh, uh, instrument to start on. Ah, well, you know, you gotta get better. You gotta start somewhere. <laughs> anyway, back to your favorite anime. You wanted to start My first with anime. So, oh, yeah. um, wow, my first anime. I I think if you discount the more show-in animes that are aimed at, you know, a, a, a young teen audience, I think it would actually be uh, Tenchi Muyo in Tokyo. Mm. And that was a harem which... You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a harem anime. Really, a very classic harem, very popular. Uh, but it wasn't actually the first season of Tenchi Muyo. There is Tenchi Muyo, and a lot of spin-offs too. Um, and that was really the first one. And then I explored more outlaw starry stuff, which brought more the mech, which I was really into when I was younger. And it just rolled from there. Well, for me, um, I am a classic Mooney. Um, I s remember being a very young girl, on, and it was when they first uh, brought it over to the U.S. Um, and uh, dubbed it, and so I was watching it um, right before school. So I was just really intrigued to love the story, the idea that you could be like um, a young girl and you can save the world and love and rainbows and sunshine and friendship. Oh, it was great. Sailor Moon is fantastic. Um, I'm sure there's a, a lot of Moonies out there, um, but it really opened um, the door for me to check out some more different animes after that. Um, but really, Sailor Moon, original and number one. It's a great anime. I mean, it's not really my genre, but, you know, you can appreciate something that is a standout within its when it within its genre, almost when you first see it. So moving straight on to the next question, well, why did you start Chibi Chats? So I think I'll go first since it was sort of my idea, yeah, to to get this started. And one of the reasons why we chose this format was because this is how I really pick my anime these days. I were more older end now post college, university, whatever you call it in your country. So I don't have as much time to dedicate to anime as what I used to do. So I now tend to explore the first episode of three or four animes and then I, then I pick from there. So that was why we came up with the format. But also we just wanted to check out the community, see if we can get this uh, interaction with the community on YouTube. I always wanted to share my experiences with other people and listen to what others thought about different animes and get their perspective. At least for me, um, it was again to kind of force myself to watch some new animes. I get kind of caught up in life, um, which kind of happens once you are kind of out of university, uh, um, you know, work and uh, just being tired in general. Um, but I think uh, this has allowed me to to really spend more time with Hiroshi and um, and just kind of build uh, a larger kind of base uh, of my anime viewing. So I have really found some gems in our little adventure here with Chibi Chats, and um, I kind of I'm pretty excited to you know kind of explore. So that's that's it for me. So um, another one was well, what character would you like to cosplay? So I I guess that assumes that you do cosplay and. I'd recommend it for anyone who's going to a convention. I mean, just, it doesn't have to be an expensive costume. 
Yeah, you don't have to throw the money at it. Just, yeah, so just go for it with a, uh... Anyway, so what character would I like to cosplay? Um, I think I've always wanted to try Gene Starwin from Outlaw Star. Uh, I think the reason I haven't done that is I tend to stay current. We always see something and then we... Uh, I cosplay in that way or me and Pinkarumi will do a pairing from an anime. So I think as much as I've always wanted to do it, I've just never actually got around to it. Um, I would say um, I've been a cosplayer um, for a while now. Um, <laughs> but for some reason, I just haven't gotten, gotten my hands on making Kurumi. So my... Um, uh, pen name uh, for the channel is Pin Kurumi. Really, really love Steel Angel Kurumi, and Kurumi herself is just so much fun. Really bubbly character, and I just really get caught up in other projects. You know, a lot of times Hiroshi and I are cosplaying together, so we've been doing a lot of pairings in the last few years, and um, it's just it, it with work and time, it's just hard to make multiple costumes. At, um, at, le at this point in my life so I just kind of put uh, Kurumi into the background but I love um, Steel Angel Kurumi and I would 100% just live it live it um, I'm very excited to try to do this in the next hopefully in the next year or two because I really 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 want to be Steel Angel Kurumi <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, those are a few questions uh leave us more in the comments section so we can keep this going and we can get the community going so the three animes we picked for this episode are obviously not from this season so the f but a few of them actually are from the season before so the first one is love and lies and it's from 2017 summer season <coughs> and so it it revolves around because of the reduced population that Japan's actually having in real life, teens are matched with partners for marriage at 16 years old, and it's based around genetics and interest. So the main character we have is Yukari, and he's been attracted to a girl in, in his class for a long, long time. But it's approaching the time when he's going to be paired up, so he, he declares that he's going to confess to her and really just go for it. Anyway, uh, they set he sets up, he goes to meet her, and I, I, I think the confession is really well done. I think it was just so sweet how he, how they like talk about the times together. And it comes out that she secretly liked him as well. And they talk about little sequences where, you know, like where they first noticed each other and yeah, I mean, I I thought this was really kind of a treat. I mean, I appreciated how they took the time to really build um, a little history between the characters and how that built it up to that moment of confession, and how and how much they were both really um, emotionally invested into that moment, and then dun 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 the news of his pairing um comes through and and so it really it really sets it up for it to be a really you know kind of interesting relationship the story i i thought thumbs up for me uh yeah i i definitely liked it um you didn't really see the girl that he was paired with also he receives a text message before he gets the note of his pairing, um, which actually is a different character, isn't it? He initially receives a pairing that is the character that he likes in his class. So interesting as to how that will will feature in the um, in the story at some point, and I think it just set it up really well. Yeah. I it, and it, I think it will be really interesting to see if. He actually likes the person who is picked for him since they make such a big deal out of that it's based on genetic and interest factors so maybe he's gonna hit it off with this girl that's been picked for him and maybe that might be a central conflict within the story so I, I really liked it thought it was a really 
really good anime. Check it out. So next we're going to move on to an anime from the same season in 2017 called Dive. So the story in this one is that we're with a diving club. It's not in school. It's actually an outside club. So for, for once, uh, it's not school-based. And they're going to go towards a national tournament, which is revealed at the end. Honestly, I'm a bit of a sucker for this sort of story. This is, this is an under, you know, I, I like that sort of underdog tale. This kid's going to go and, um, you know, achieve the national limit. But I don't think that was there. It seemed that this was a very specialist diving club. And just to be in there, you were expected to be of a, of a certain level. And while he didn't seem like he was the best in the club, I thought that they should have played a little bit more on the underdog. But that's that's my personal uh, tastes. I guess the one problem I do have is that it's really hard to be positive or negative about this anime. Nothing really was bad about it, but there was nothing that just made me want to click on the next episode. It, I, you know, for me, it's like a classic five out of ten. I, I didn't, it didn't make me want to put it on my to watch list. Well, I, you know, I think if you are into the sports anime, you're gonna like it. the The animation itself was really well done. You know how they animated the dives. A lot of times they they kind of jump into this like computer animated. But they didn't in this. They really drew them diving through and through, which I thought was just really, really cool. Um, there's that whole, like, there's, you know, the mentor relationship and inspiring to be that like that mentor, also to better yourself. Uh, there is the, the inside that the club might not be doing so good, and so they really need to step it up as a club. Um, and then the possibility of them, I believe it was the Olympics that they specifically it, mentioned. I think it was a national tournament. It, national but tournament. But it was, it was something where it would definitely bring up the, um, the fame of the club and thus will, um, you know, continue, be able to continue, uh, being a successful diving club and for them to participate in it. So I thought, you know, it did have some of the basic uh, set up for, for some plot. I wonder, you know, where it actually would take the direction. Like, um, again, it, it tried to kind of force this kind of relationship with a girl also in it. There was a kind of, I felt that was a little forced. They, it was like a romance that was kind of wanting to be there, but you know, he was more focused on the... Sp I just think it was just I, too much in the first episode. I think he said at one point, didn't he, that he he only agreed to go out with her because uh, he felt that it would be unfair to turn her down. So I, I don't know where they're going to go with that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't really know where they're going to go with that. And the, the relationship with his mentor, I think, is... I don't know. Yeah. It would be I don't know. anyway. I think it would be interesting if something happened to the mentor, where it became more on the main character's shoulders to um, to 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 lead the group through the success. I feel like right now it's just introduced a, a, a lot of different ideas, and it hasn't really turned them into anything specific. Uh, but you know, it has. I would say like it has the possibility. I'm not necessarily into sports anime, but if you are into it, I think you would really enjoy it actually. And also, um, yeah, I, I think I think people who are into the style would definitely enjoy it. I thought I appreciated it definitely. Okay. All right, so uh, is that a recommendation? Would you I would say I would I mean, I think I would watch another episode to see where it goes, but it definitely wasn't like, wow, this is this is really, you know, it's just, like I said, but it's not my thing. But if I, it is your thing, give it a watch. I think in the age where anime is so prevalent, I don't think this would ever get to my to my watch list. So, anyway, there's our opinions. Let's move on. Um, so, the next one is Love Live School Idol Project. Uh, this is actually from 2013. And... Uh, Early Jan, I think it came out originally. So this actually takes place in a school in Tokyo. And actually, the girls are quite close to Akinabra. And I have been to Akinabra. 
and it doesn't look anything like that. But that's a side note. So anyway, it starts off and the school is going to be shut down because there's not enough applicants, so they're going to phase out the school. And I like that. I like that almost straight away you're given what the motivation is for the characters. Straight, straight away. Then though, you get this, you get this introduction and there's a 3D animation style and oh god, I think it is ugly. I think it is so ugly. Um, I always can tell when they do this 3D animation, even when it's done well. But I think in this anime, I think it's genuinely done badly. Uh, I think the characters look awful drawing it. <laughs> well, so, okay, so Love uh, love Live. I had an exposure to this prior to watching this anime because Hiroshi just loves to play the Love Live game. And so, um, in a way, I was kind of put off by the idea of the anime because he like plays it all the time and this is like super his thing and I was just like you know I mean like you just play it and it, I just felt like watching and playing was a lot anyway so I gave it a chance though because it did look cute and I must say I I did really enjoy that first episode I loved the animation style I mean um I've noticed that there is a pattern in a lot of music animes now to use the um, 3D animation, and it might just be because they're just trying to really kind of bring to life um, the dancing, the dancing, and and the the humanness of the event. And so, um, I, anyway, I think I could see why they they put it in, and I've seen it now in a few different animes where they when when they have done it, and I can see why they've done it. Um, I thought it was really cute that um, the the plot was really clear and then the characters were really, you know, they were just really kind of different from each other. Um, it's just not something I would necessarily have jumped right into, um, but I do like the idea that there's um, music involved. I'm a little worried that there's so many characters that you will um, kind of lose in the opening. It definitely implies that there is a large group of girls in this and so um character development ca yeah whether or not they're, they're really going to be able to develop all those characters um but we'll see some some animes have been really successful and some haven't so i'll see how that goes so i really i really like how hanako who is the lead character who starts the love live group actually she's she's not made out to be anything special and as i said uh, in comparing to dive for example I think that you really get a feeling that she's an underdog. She wouldn't necessarily be successful in this without the support of the other characters. And I, and similar to the other two characters you see, I think that they all add something, but the whole is bigger than the sum of its parts. Mm. And I think that just great creates that really good underdog feel for it. Also, the interactions. I mean, you can really tell that they're friends. For in just one episode, they seem to really establish the bond between these three girls. And I think that's that's definitely a, a big plus. I don't know. I, I, I think it's beginning. I, don't, I think a lot of that statement, previous statement you said, has to do with the fact that you've, you know the series so well. But, I mean, as someone that is just freshly exposed, I would say, like, I could tell that they definitely have a history and that they support each other and that it's... Um, it's something that um, it's gonna be something that is interesting and can be developed, and I I I would definitely give it another chance, another episode. Yeah, I think I definitely. I mean, so overall recommendation from the three, which would you watch? Um, Koi to Uso, uh, Love and Lies seems really interesting out of these three. I would probably give that one a second episode if I could. So this is quite hard for me, actually, because I think I really like to love live, but I think it has issues. And so if it comes to a choice between the three of them, I think Koi Tuuso would win out. It was just such a good first episode, and it lacked the visuals that I didn't really like. 
So even though Love Live is very, very, very close, I think Cry 2 or so would be the one I would pick to watch. Oh, look at that. Same as me. Well, thanks for joining us for this episode of Chibi Chats. Hopefully uh, you found some things interesting. Please let us know if you have any ideas for us. Yeah. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment as much as you like. Okay, see you next time, everyone. See you next time.